a story of three bulls. The first bull was a black bull, another was red, and the third was white. And so with these three bulls, living amongst them was a lion. And the lion would watch them graze together and living together. And he said, if I ever tried attacking them, that I wouldn't be able to because they would all defend one another. And so he came up with a plan. He went to the black bull and he went to the red bull. And he said to them, if you allow me to eat the white bull, I will let you, the black bull and the red bull, live in peace. And so with that promise from the lion, those two bulls agreed. And so the lion went and he ate the white bull. Then as time passed, the lion became hungry again. And so he saw the black bull and he saw the red bull. And he said, let me go to the red bull. He went to the red bull and he said, allow me to eat the black bull and I will let you, the red bull, live in peace because I'm very big and I'm very ferocious. Let me just kill him and eat him and I'll let you live in peace. And so the red bull was happy with that promise and so he said, go and eat the black bull. And he allowed him to go and he didn't defend the black bull as the lion ate him. And of course, as time passed and the lion became hungry, he walked up to the red bull and the red bull saw the death in the lion's eyes coming to him. And he saw the fangs of the lion and he screamed out, Ala inni ukiltu yawma ukila sawrul abyal. Verily, I was actually eaten and I actually died when the white bull died. And so the scholars are pointing out the story because when you see a brother and a sister dying in Chechnya, it's you that's dying there. It's you who's dying on television. You see a mother and a father, that's your parents that are, are being killed on television. It's your family. The Prophet wasallam said that the Ummah is like one body. That if one part of it is in pain, the whole, part, the whole body spends the night in fever and in pain of that limb. And so when someone is amputated, it's your leg that's being amputated. When someone is having his throat slit, it's your throat that's being slit. And so it's not a question like the kuffar because of the human nature, they want to go and help these people. Rather, you need to help yourself by helping those 